Tonight with our friends from Texas Roadhouse. This is our buddy Bruce Stebbins. Good to see you, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Hungry? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to be hungry if you're here. I can <laughs> fix that. I can fix that. So you, you are going to give us some tips on, you know, great Memorial Day grilling because it's coming up, the unofficial start to summer. You don't want to ruin it by messing up everything on Absolutely. the grill. Absolutely. Well, you know, I can give you tips on grilling, but the big thing about, you know, is grilling is not to overcook anything and not to undercook it. Okay. okay. That sounds, sounds simple, and it really is. But what you can grill on here, like we do pork chops, salmon, steaks. We have kebabs. We don't have shiz kebabs because they don't have shiz in Texas, so we call them kebabs. And uh, <laughs> it's basically, and of course, hot dogs, hamburgers, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, when you want to cook something, let the grill do the job. Okay. okay? And it's kind of like. Again, again, the cut of meat and in, in what you're using is also going to determine what we're Oh, look at that skillet. Correct. Oh. Correct. What we do is we sear our, our, all of our steaks on a, on a cast iron skillet equivalent. And uh, all of our steaks, burgers, pork chops, and all that get seared here. And I thought it'd be appropriate with the uh, being country, is you getting a good old country skillet. Yeah. Oh, you, yes. What you, you can't beat it. Your gravy's being made right now. Right. If you, yeah, if you're from the country, you know yeah. that's your gravy. Nothing better than a cast iron skillet. No. So what we do is we put a little seasoning on some. We get the skillet. We get some margarine in there. Yep. We sear it on each side. You can see the kind of golden brown on the bigger steak there. That's a that's a cowboy cut sirloin. Mm -hmm. And this here is an eight ounce fillet. Uh, we've got a cup burger on the grill, and uh, we, we just kind of let the grill do its thing. You yeah. don't walk away from it. And, what, and the other thing is, is don't throw water on your grill. Okay. You, you don't want to do that because water just spreads the grease and spreads a fire. Yes. That's how people get hurt. Yes. Right. So right. it's just one of those, have some flour or something of that nearby. It'll put a fire if you get it too, going too fast. But with these two steaks, the sirloin and the filet, they're so lean, there won't be much fire. You know, there's, there's going to be a yeah. little bit here and there, but for the most part, they're, you're going to eat every piece of that. By the way, this seasoning smells so good, yes, and, and we can purchase that from you guys, right? You sure can. It comes in uh, three-ounce bottles. It's like four or five bucks or something like that, and uh, uh, we use probably about 100 pounds of it a week. Do you really? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Gosh. So we go through quite a bit of it. You've got to season it generously. That's where so much of that You need about a tablespoon on each side. Yeah. So, I think it, it, uh, the mistake would be to under-season. Wouldn't it? I would rather it be over season than yeah, under season. Yeah, it's kind of it's a preference. You know, I'm not a big fan of well, Cajun. There's only one blocking. way to do it, and it's my way. Bruce. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Haley, good luck with that. Thank you. It's it's working wonderfully, as you can imagine. <laughs> yes. Well, you're still around, so it's worked out pretty well so far. Yes. Yes. I like the kebabs idea. You yeah, know, like, I feel like that's well, underused. That's so and, good and in summer. What a lot of people do is, you know, we cut them up and put them on the grill, like you see here. We let them heat up. We're cooking the cooking the meat because it takes longer. But what happens is, is they get a little bit softer, you put a little bit, put a little bit of butter on them when it's time to serve them. And the next thing you know, you've got, I mean, then it just softens them up a little bit more. And, uh, and then you get your veggies and salad all in one spot. You know, the other thing that I never thought I'd be asking you about is wieners. We've got <laughs> hot dogs out here. Is there, is there yes, any way to screw those up? Yeah. No, there really isn't. Yeah. No, there really isn't. Just get them hot. That's it. You know. That's, I, I like, like them good and burned. I like if there's too. not some black yeah. on there, it's I not a too. summer cook. Yeah. Let's make sure they got cooked. You know. In our, in our burger, real quick, Bruce. What? Anything we need to know about it? Uh, we patty, grind, and patty all of our own burgers at the restaurant. We do the same sear process on them. Uh, our burgers are at eight ounces, mm -hmm. so it takes a while. I don't recommend that at home use, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, for our burgers at work, it works out great. People get a half a sandwich and quarter pounder and take one home with them. So, you got to be careful with chicken and pork, don't right. you? Yes, yeah. you do. The, the one thing you can't do is undercook it. Yes. And uh, that's obviously that'll kill you. Yeah. Then the other thing, then the other, the and other thing will do. it'll kill the party. Just a little fun trivia yeah, for just Bruce. A little, it'll little. kill you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Texas Roadhouse obviously can do it better than anybody. So if yes. you want to get it done right, you go by and see our friends either at the uh, Richmond Road location where Bruce is, or over at. Uh, on uh, Harrisburg Road as well. Thank yes. you, buddy. Thanks for, thanks for having us. All right, you're watching live with Lee and Haley. Happy Memorial Day grilling this weekend. Stay with us. Got more fun coming up after the break.